Hello, Berkshire Hathaway Home Services sales executives for our video message of the week. All right, we've been talking about this series about motivating and inspiring ourselves. And today is absolutely no different. In fact, today I have three simple steps for you to more effectively motivate and inspire you. All right, let's jump right in. Step one. You have to get clear on what you want. Now, I know we've talked about this before, but now we're gonna use it as a tool to motivate and inspire ourselves. Look, an example. Let's say you wanna make the first quarter of 2018 the best quarter you've ever had. Well, guess what? Once you're clear on that, you can put together the activities and the steps that you need to do each and every day. Remember, our four-step business plan it comes down to your daily revenue commitment. So now, once you're clear on what you want to create in that first quarter, we can back into it and find out all the activities you need to do each and every day. But you can't do that first if you're not clear on what you want. I promise you this, once you're clear, you get excited, you get motivated, and you get inspired to achieve. Number two. Help another teammate achieve what they want. Look, as human beings, we want to help. We want to bend over backwards and help one of our teammates succeed and people in general succeed. We'll use that in an ins as an inspirational tool. So find somebody else in the office and say, you know what, let's make 2018 the best quarter each of us has ever had and in doing so, Okay, you will spend time making sure, you know what, maybe my partner's getting a little bit lazy or a little bit out of it or getting off track. I'm gonna get them on track and I'm gonna tell them how important it is not to miss that daily revenue commitment. And I'm gonna push them and they're gonna do it where they would not have done it without me there. And guess what? In turn, you're doing it too. So by helping others, by helping someone else achieve, in turn, you're motivating and inspiring yourself to achieve. And number three, I want you to focus less on expectations and more on appreciation. You know, we can spend a lot of time putting expectations on other people, other circumstances. You know what? End up being very disappointed over time. Don't spend time doing that. I want you to spend time in appreciation. The more your mindset is in appreciation, the more guess what, those goosebumps kick in, the more inspired you feel and the more you'll do. Once you appreciate, you know what, the office you're in, the people that surround you, the company you're in, the, the, your clients that you have, okay, even the challenges and you appreciate and say, listen, it's part of what I do, I'm fine with it. I appreciate the opportunity to have those challenges. The more you stay in a mindset of appreciation, I promise you, the more inspired and the more motivated you will be. Look, there's a lot of things that can inspire us. There's some things that can motivate us, but the number one thing is ourselves. Use these tips and tools today, and I promise you, they will help you inspire and motivate yourself. Have a great week, everybody. We'll talk to you next week. Bye-bye.